That's the beauty part about having the day off and recording during the day. Leaf blowers. The most obnoxious thing ever created. And so good for the environment. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. It is Wonder Woman Day for sure. Got the shirt on, rocking it, doing all that stuff. And uh, yeah, um, obviously uh, you guys probably saw that I'm going to be doing a uh, early Film Junkie Live where I'm going to be watching the, the virtual event, seeing what's going on, chiming in. Of course, I can't like fully stream it or stuff like that because yeah, yeah that's how you get your live stream pulled. So, But I think we'll be okay if we're all just kind of watching it chiming in and, and seeing everything like that but turns out the uh the reviews are uh slowly coming in and uh they're making their way on on the timeline right now there's also you know some clips too that are happening and uh i, I see some uh, already some divisiveness when it comes to uh what's going on with that i mean hey i think we all kind of knew that the tone was going to be a flip and that's what it definitely looks like but you know i mean if you didn't gather that last year with that first trailer, well, I don't know what to tell you. But hey, it's all right. It's it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see the response. So naturally, guys, I know, I, I know, I know. I'm gonna be looking at Rotten Tomatoes right now, and if, and I we all hate Rotten Tomatoes, but I mean that's just where all the reviews are gonna be going in right now. And uh, I mean, thankfully, like when it comes to what's happening now with uh, the dual releases and stuff like that, Rotten Tomatoes is not as powerful as it once was. The power has been taken away from some of this shit. So that's what's pretty good. But right now it's currently sitting at an 88%, um, 57 uh, reviews as of right now. And uh, basically all these right here, I'm going to look at top critics because uh, that's what you're supposed to look at. More of the top critics than anything. They're all pretty much uh, on board with this. The film's wickedly pungent social satire, see, social satire, must occasionally step aside from superheroics, of course, and while the re-teaming re of Godot, Godot and J Jenkins provides the expected thrills, excitement, the sequel shares a significant flaw of its predecessor. Yeah, I have a feeling that it's not going to be as good as the first one, and it's, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. Not gonna be a forever. Wonder Woman 84 can't quite reach the heights of the first film. It still soars beautifully when it matters most. Returns Gal Gadot as well. Amazon Princess with the bulletproof bracelets introduces a couple worthy foes and is a pretty fun time, even if the extremely busy 1984 almost wears out its welcome at the hefty two and a half hours. Woof. Vibrant, vibrant, virtuous. Adventure packed with the heart and heroism we've come to expect from DC's Shining Light. Wonder Woman 1984 really is the hero 2020 needed all along. Uh, hey, Mr. Roper said this is a throwback piece of pure pop entertainment. That right there is probably going to be the best description of this movie. Seeing clips and everything. Yeah, definitely that's what's going to be. Uh, that's that's probably the, the tone that you can see right there. It's going to be purely... It's purely, uh, I guess you could say, yeah, it's going back to the 80s superhero stuff. I mean, it's going to be cheesy. It's going to be energetic. It's going to be uplifting and hopeful. So there you go, guys. I mean, I'm just saying. Here's coming some of the bad ones. The sprawling, muddled mess cribbed from superior films and uh, source material. And then this one right here, early hopes of Back to the Future, an 80s film whose sequels bucked. The trend giveaway to a uh, to a dawning sense of Wonder Woman's whip endlessly spinning out but never connecting. Yeesh. All right, so that's top critics. I wanna, let's see. Let's look at any more bad ones. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much it. Just two top critics are saying it's bad. Other than that, it says. Uh, let's see right here. We got the Telegraph at timeout. In a year when the uh, cinema going experience could be categorized as much too little, you can't really blame Wonder Woman eighty four for giving us. A bit too much. So a lot of people are saying that there's a lot going on in this movie. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Director Patty Jenkins has followed that original film uh, with a something much longer, cornier, wobblier, in which in which is energized with a streak of pure movie star enchantment that recalls the sparkly-eyed uplift of the Christopher Reeve Superman films. Yes, we've already heard that. A lot of Donner comparisons. So yeah, there it is, right there. So it. What I'm hoping, though, when it comes to the third one, whenever that one's going to happen, there's going to be another shift. Just have all three of them not feel the same, which is pretty much what I think you can ask for when it comes to a trilogy. It takes place in the 80s, 
So why not have that 80s pop culture type of tone to it? And that's exactly what's happening. I mean, I'm guessing that first that first um, opening action sequence takes place in a mall. That's what it's looking like, at least. And you saw that little clip. And yeah, there's some cheese that's happening. I even got some Sam Raimi uh, Spider-Man vibes because she's swinging from her with her with her uh, her lasso. So that's just what I'm seeing. But there's like a gif. I mean, apparently her. Her uh, crown or tiara is totally just, it's magical as well because she's like throwing that all over the place. There's a gift that I posted on my Twitter where she just grabs it and puts it back on. It's a sexy move because, well, Gal is sexy and she also has a scratch. She's bleeding. So I was like, ooh, she's bleeding. Obviously, it takes place in uh, the White House. I'm just wondering if scratch from Cheetah or something like that, that could be it. But um, yeah, more of the, uh, more of the, Critics uh, reviews will be coming in. It sounds to me like it's going to be a little divisive, divisive, whatever you want to call it. Tomato, tomato. It's going to be, yeah, there's going to be some polarization. There definitely will be because um, I already know that diehards of, uh, you know, the Snyder fandom are all going to hate it for sure, which is fine. We already knew that. They already, uh, they already were talking about that for like the past year, but um uh, there, there'll probably be some divisiveness for the people who are open to it. I'm looking forward to it to see what, and I, you know, you know me, I'll give my, uh, I'll give my actual critiques. If I, and I'm sure there's going to be some critiques perfectly okay with that. I mean, the first one took place during world war one in gloomy fucking London. <laughs> so yeah, a complete tonal shift to eighties, uh, Washington DC, I guess you could say, I don't know. I forgot exactly where it's taken place. Well, some of it's, well, it's taken place all around the world actually, but yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's just going to be interesting. I'm actually more, I'm actually more looking forward to it now seeing more to it. I'm like, oh, okay, this is definitely going to be capturing and maybe there will, it, it'll ignite something from my, you know, in the child, when I used to watch movies as a child, if that, if, if that could be achieved, then sweet, perfectly fine by me. But I could, I'm, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm probably not gonna like it more than the uh, the first movie. I think when that first trailer came out, I was like, whoa, maybe I will. But now, here we are, like, finally, like, about to see this damn thing. It doesn't seem like that's gonna be the case, you know. Well, that first trailer came out even longer ago than that. Fuck, man. I, I'm, it did it. I don't even know. Yeah, it was 2019. What the fuck month is it right now? That's right. It's December. Jeez, Dave. I was like sitting there going, thinking it's already January. I'm already like in 2021, guys. That's where I'm at. But anyways, there you go, guys. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm gonna be doing, like I said, the uh, virtual event. It's already posted. So make sure you uh, check it out. We'll see how that goes. Should be uh should be some good times, but uh, let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. And then of course, um, follow me in the sock meds down below, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Then we got Patreon too. We got Patreon if you want to help out the pirate ship. Got a dollar tier in there for just you know for just helping out. And of course, uh, merchandise down below. All right, guys. Talk to you later.